Hello, Mingalaba. Welcome to Love Myanmar. My name's Harriet. I'm a native English speaker and Myanmar language learner. In this lesson, we're going to check out how to make Myanmar superlatives. So that means words like best, biggest, tallest, and so on. And then we'll practice forming and saying these delightful superlatives in some sentences. If you haven't already familiarized yourself with the vocabulary in my Myanmar Vocabulary Set 1 and especially Set 2 videos, I would strongly recommend that you do that first as we'll be using all that vocabulary in this lesson. I'll leave a link to those videos in the description below or you can click on the link at the top of the screen to review Vocabulary Set 2 before you dive into this lesson. Excellent, let's get into it. You'll be happy to know that forming superlatives is pretty straightforward in Myanmar. Most of the time, all we have to do is add the particle a before and the particle zong after the descriptive verb or adjective, and we're done. For example, say we want to take the descriptive verb tall and turn it into the tallest. From the vocabulary video, you'll remember that tall is nye. So if we add a in front of nye and zong after it, we get a mien zong the tallest. Not so painful, right? Let's try one more. Let's say we want to say favorite. Do you remember the word for like? That's right, jai. We add the a in front of the jai and the zone after it and we get a jai zone. Favorite, or in other words, the one liked the most. Can you say that? A jai zone. Brilliant. So let's get into our practice. We're starting off with this model phrase, best friend. A gaozon me sui. You say it. A gaozon me sui. A gaozon me sui. Well done. You'll notice that a is very short and weak and sort of leans or disappears into the next syllable. A gaon. A gaozon. We're going to use this same construction. A, adjective, zone plus a noun to create 10 more phrases. Are you ready? How would you say youngest daughter? I've left some clues for you on the left and feel free to pause the video at any time to give yourself time to work out the answer. Angezontami, youngest daughter. Can you say it? Angezontami, great. Next one, eldest son. By the way, we use the word for big, G to mean old when we're talking about age. So how would you say eldest son? A ji zon ta. Perfect. Can you say it aloud? A ji zon ta. Good stuff. The largest rat. Do you remember the word for rat? Jue. So the largest rat would be, besides terrifying, a ji zon jue. The largest rat. Can we hear you say it? A ji zon jue. Now that is a great phrase for storytelling, right? What about the largest animal? Animal is that curly looking stacked word, Teresa. So the largest animal would be a ji zon Teresa. The largest animal. Your turn? A ji zon Teresa. Wonderful. The tallest building. Using the word for tall, mie, and the word for building, a sao'u, the tallest building. A mienzo, a sao'u. That's a mouthful, isn't it? You say it. A mienzo, a sao'u. Very good. The hottest month. Remember, pu is hot and month is la. A puzo la, the hottest month. Your turn. A puzo la. Fabulous. The hottest city. City is myo. So what do you think? A puzo myo. Over to you. A puzo myo. The hottest city. You're doing so well. Keep going. The furthest, or farthest if you like, city. Remember, far is way. A way zone myo. Your turn. A weasel mew. Nice. What about the fastest animal? What do you think? A mianzong. A mianzong, Teresa. Let's hear you say it. 
Amienzo and Teresa. Very good, you've got this sorted. How about the most important decision? Do you remember the word for decision? Son piace. So the most important decision must be a ye zone son piace. Right, let's hear you. A ye zone son piace. Well done. Let's try asking questions now. Here's our model question. What is your favorite fruit? Ba a ti a jasonli. So here we have the question word what ba, the word for fruit, a ti, and the open ended question particle le. Ba a ti a jasonli. Can you say it? Great. So let's use the same structure to ask three more questions. How would you say, what's your favorite animal? You can check the structure from the model in the top corner. Ba Teresa. Ba Teresa Ajaisoli. Your turn. Yes. What about, what is your favorite city? What do you think? Ba Mio Ajaisoli. Your turn. Mio Ajaisoli. Nice one. How about what is the best restaurant? So not favorite this time, but best. And do you remember the word for restaurant? Sa Thalsai. So we would say Ba Sa Thalsai. A gowns only. You say it. Ba Sa Thalsai. A gowns only. Great. What about what's the best decision? Remember the word for decision is son piace. Ba son piace a gowns only. You say it. Ba son piace a gowns only. Good. From best, let's go to worst. How would you say, what's the worst problem? Problem is piatana, right? So can you work it out? Yes, ba piatana a sous only. Great. Over to you one more time. Ba piatana a sous only. Well done. Now let's look at the word for first, ouzon. In this special case, we don't need the a before the u, just ouzon. So you'll remember that u, roughly translated, means first or ahead of others. So ouzon is sort of like saying the most first which totally does not fly in English, but this is in English. So to say the first lie, we would say Uzong Lin Li Mu. You say it. Uzong Lin Li Mu. Good job. Now, can you think how we would say first time? Uzong a ting. Let's hear you say it again. Uzong a ting. Very good. Finally, we have Finally, or last, now song. So in vocabulary set two video, we learned that the word for next is now. So the word for last is like saying the most next. That's cute, right? Once again, like the word for first, we don't need a before the now, just now song. Now song. Now song. Great. So how would you say the last paragraph? Nelson Sabite. That's right. What about the last question? And this really is the last question. Yes, Nelson Mego. You say it. Nelson Mego. Brilliant. You did it. You are a Myanmar Superlatives rock star. Well done. So from here, make sure you review, 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 and use, use, use. All this learning doesn't really mean much unless you use it. So make an effort to use it in conversation, even if you feel a bit silly. Me and my people will surely appreciate your effort. And if you make a mistake, well, you can always have a good laugh together. Thank you very much for sharing the learning journey with us. Leave a comment below and let us know your language joys and woes and learning tips. Now, Mabian Dwemi. See you next time.